Hello, and today I'm going to teach you the um, basics of, uh, of how to transfer guitar knowledge to, um, to piano knowledge for maybe uh, thickening some guitar parts or putting in some ambiance or something like keeping it, keeping it good. Um, also, this is also a tutorial on basic chords for piano if, um, if you just want to learn basic piano just to produce and whatnot. And so I got, I got, let me see, I got one, two, three, four, five different types of chords that, that you could play and you can learn real quick because most of them like stay the same shape. I'll, I'll tell you about shapes, but let me run you through um, what you could be looking for while I do this. Over here is my piano I'm using. As you see, the keys I touch turn gray, and as you see over here, they light up yellow. And so that's just quick. And um, I'm still I'm still learning like the physical placements of the keys and whatnot. So if I if I oops up on a key, um, then my bad, but it happens. I'm still pretty new, but I kind of understand this, and I think it it's good for you guys to understand. So let me just uh. Let me run through real quick. So this is basically a power chord. Your circle of fifths. So C to F. That's a power chord. That's your C power chord. D to G. That's that's a D power chord. E to A. That's an E power chord. F to B. That's an F power chord. And so on, so on. Now, as I was playing that over here, let me go back to the C power chord. I'm skipping two white keys in between each power chord and that shape's movable so when you skip two white keys that's power chord it's basically the first and the fifth um the next chord i got right here is um a major chord so c major it's built upon the c major scale um, I know a lot of people like to get a little picky and um, play it exactly to the scale, but I mean, if you just to get by, you could do this shape over here. Just um, one, skip one, skip one, and then you got this. And that's movable. That could be a D or back to C or a B. And it's just a, just a little shape that gets you by. Um, Here's a here's a C minor, which is basically I'm gonna take the C major. I'm gonna drop the middle note one. And that's basically how you do that. You just um instead of playing this shape, move this finger down one. So you go minor, and I believe this is um an augmented chord, which it basically is um. There's the C. Uh, you move your finger right, I believe, one step. It's more of an open chord to use on in any situation. It's not as fat, but it, it's it's pretty legit, and um. Another chord that I don't have up here is you could just play like an octave chord. You could play this C and then you could come over here and play this C. That's an octave chord. It's just a C, C, B, B, just, um, just an octave. And um, you could play 
play that like if you need something light like say you got like a strong brass trumpet or something that you you're playing the rhythm on also and it's overpowering your guitars that that you could just play it like that and then it would be pretty legit but this last chord I got here is um my take on the bar chord and I don't and it's basically the fifth so it's just like you're playing the fifth so C skip two and then I think I added So it's basically this shape. Which is movable. All these shapes are pretty much movable. And so yeah, that's um basically all the basics you need to know for this. And it's pretty legit. Comment, rate, subscribe, I'll be up with some more videos and um yeah, and yeah, just um, and if you um don't know like your scales and whatnot, I already got a video up for that. That's that's pretty legit that you can learn your scales in ten minutes, and you can learn your um major and minor scales in ten minutes or so. So um, yeah, check that out. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you.